Walmart just announced this week that 65% of its stores, well, they're going to be all automated by 2026. The company's CEO also made a comment. He made this comment. He says, over time, we believe that we'll have the same amount or even more associates in our stores and warehouses. Kind of counterdicts both things, doesn't it? We're going to discuss that today. Walmart is the country's largest private retailer. We all do know that. Uh, they're down to about 4,700 stores, though. A couple of years ago, they had over 5,000 stores. They're down to 4,700 now. They do uh, have like 1.6 million workers, but that has also gone down as we speak, and it's going to be going down even more by the end of this month. So if this affects you in your area, you're going to know about it which you may already know because I'm sure they're already starting to run lots of sales and they're starting to move all this merchandise and stuff, all this extra stuff that they know they're not going to be able to sell and they're going to move this stuff, you know, to a different location and sell it to you there. Now, who knows how long this has been setting around. But the Walmart CEO did tell its workers, don't worry about your jobs. Despite that Walmart is... Um, in the vast retail apocalypse, they're starting to close a lot of stores that are not producing, they're not making money, they're not keeping them anymore. You know, they try to shuffle maybe some of the employees and stuff around and move them to different stores and warehouses. Uh, but obviously, they're not going to be able to do it for everybody. And they're also doing this big push on the automation. Now, what does all this mean? Right? Some of these stores and stuff have been in some of these towns and communities for a very, very, very long time. But that doesn't seem to matter anymore because it's all about profit. Everything is about profit nowadays. That's all everybody is worried about is the almighty dollar. You know, Walmart will be increasing its reliance on this whole new automated system that they are putting into stores as we speak. They have started doing this throughout the country. Uh, this did start in Salem, uh, New Jersey. One area where Walmart is really seeking to increase investments in their market, especially in their fulfillment centers, which are automated fulfillment centers built within or added to a store. No longer is it going to be like a big warehouse. They're going to start doing this inside of these stores. Now, I don't know about you people, but I have done quite a few videos on Walmart. I've been keeping track of Walmart and all the different retailers. Okay. A lot of these back rooms are already crammed full. Where are they going to put all this kind of stuff? You know, how are they going to do this? Are you going to see more of those shipping containers that are outside and they're going to fill those full of merchandise and stuff and let them set out in the wintertime and in the summertime baking in the heat? I don't care what you put in there. You know, those type of temperatures and stuff, a lot of things just aren't made to take. Now are they? But this is what they're doing. Walmart piloted this concept at a store in Salem, New Hampshire back in 2019. It was a huge success, of course, you know. And they were using uh, automated robot technology from a company called Alert Innovations. It's a robotics company. Now, what did Walmart do? Because you see, Walmart wants to take and they want to control this market. They don't want anybody else to have this technology unless they find other companies and everything else. So Walmart acquired this company and bought this company in October of 2022. Very smart move, right? 
So basically they bought the company that had all this technology that could do this. All right? They can pick orders and do everything and all this kind of stuff. They bought it. They own it. So nobody else is going to get it. This technology is theirs. Now, yes, there are other companies that are out there that are coming up and they are producing the same type of technology. But Walmart wanted to be one of the first besides Amazon that has things that picks orders and everything else. Same line of concept, but I believe Amazon owns all their own stuff also. So you have Amazon and Walmart both own those technologies that are in their facilities that are running right now. Now you explain to me if you're going to be spending this kind of money, all right, on this type of technology, put it into the stores, how is people going to keep their jobs? Just questioning. Guys, comment below. What do you think? I don't think it's going to happen. Walmart has been building a lot of these market fulfillment centers throughout the country now. There's one in Jacksonville, there's one in Dallas, Texas, and there's other ones that are scheduled to come out because this is going to be live by 2026. So they got to get on the ball. They won't be out there. You won't see them pushing those carts around anymore, filling up those, you know, orders have been placed online. They're going to have their own area to do this in that you and me will not see them. A Walmart spokesperson did not disclose how many of these manufactured fulfillment centers that the company is going to be deploying nationwide at this point. But this dude called Tom Ward, he was the Walmart senior vice president in customer products. He did say back in January that the company would be scaling the model. So basically, they're going to be pushing this model. They want this thing up and running and everything else. You know, instead of uh, having your the associates walk around the stores and fill all the orders and everything else, these automated bots are going to retrieve the items within the fulfillment center inside of these stores. These items are then brought to a packing workstation where the order can be assembled with speed. So it's going to be faster for you to get your products and stuff. We'll see how that plays out because I've sat out there and waited on my order for I don't know how long. Walmart will need at least the same level of workers to help in stores even as automation picks up the company leaders say. I call BS. But hey, we'll all find out and I feel bad for the Walmart workers. They're probably going to end up losing their jobs. Mr. John who is the Walmart uh, CEO, told investors this past week that automation helps employees as a result in less manual labor. So you're going to pay employees more money to do less work. Does this make sense? Or am I the only one that's really catching on to this? All right, folks. I mean, come on. You know, they're, what they're trying to do is Walmart is trying to get rid of, of many employees that they can. You got to figure they don't have to pay them a wage. They don't have to pay any insurance. They don't have to pay for nothing. You know, none of that. That's more profit for them. The robots are doing everything. The announcement comes as Walmart has doubled down in its commitment to try to bolster its e-commerce business, which saw a... 97% year-over-year growth in the first quarter of the whole Charlie Victor 19 back in 2020. A lot of businesses really scored a lot of money during that point. All right. Since then, it has cooled off and it's kind of got everybody worried. With the most recent quarter yielding a 17% increase in sales. So they're still doing just fine. But you got to remember... Walmart is laying off workers at all its major fulfillment centers nationwide as we speak now. On top of all the workers are going to be let go because they're closing stores if they can't find work for them in other stores that are the close by to where they are now. The retailer is cutting more than 2,000 jobs at a lot of different warehouses, Texas, California, Florida, 
New Jersey, Pennsylvania, New York, all over the place. Just as the beginning of April here, uh, Walmart just announced it's closing 15 more stores. And here's the list, folks. And we're going to start off Arkansas, Dotson Road, and Bentonville. All right, they're closing that store. In D.C., 99 High Street, Northwest, in Washington. In Georgia, there's two stores closing. One's on Hal Mill Road in Atlanta. The other one is on Martha Luther King Jr. Drive in Atlanta. Florida, they're closing one on uh, U.S. Highway 19 in Pinellas Park. Hawaii's losing one, too. They're losing the one on Fort Street Mall in Honolulu. Illinois, you're losing three. Uh, South Helstead Street in Homewood. Uh, Route 59 in Plainfield. And North McCormick Boulevard in Lincolnwood. All right, so you're losing three stores there. Indiana, you're losing one also. That's on Portage Road in South Bend, Indiana. Uh, Minnesota, you're losing another one. Uh, this one is in Shingle Creek Parkway in the Brooklyn Center. New Mexico, you're losing one on San Manto Boulevard in Albuquerque. Oregon, you're losing two more. And I believe they're going to get down to where there's hardly anything left in Portland. But this, these two are 82nd Ave in Portland and Hayden Meadows Drive in Portland. Texas, you're losing one also. This is in Westminster Parkway in Kathy, Texas. Washington State, you're losing one on Highway 99 in Everett. Wisconsin, you're losing one also on West Silver Springs Drive in Milwaukee. And what's going to take place now is they're putting more of their money, their efforts, they're cutting back where they're losing money and they're putting money into the faster growing side of the business, which is the online sales. They are eventually want to do away with the brick and mortar. Their long-term goal is for you to be able to order whatever you want, groceries, you'll order it and it'll be delivered to you the same day. There will be no store where you're going to be able to go in and buy it. This is where we are headed in this country right now. And Walmart is leading the charge. Yeah, you have Amazon. But Amazon has been slipping. Amazon has a lot of problems right now. And Walmart knows this. And Walmart is going to capitalize on the backs of their employees. And in the end, they're just going to kick their employees out the front door and let automated robots and AI take over everything. Hence the reason why you probably should be always keeping in the back of your mind you need to be prepping because coming down the road, people are going to start losing their jobs left and right to automation, to AI, and everything else. And it's only a matter of time before it starts really trickling into every sector of the business that we are dealing with on a daily basis because of the profit margins that they want to make sure that they're always producing for their shareholders and everything else. They do not worry about what is really taking place and how the employees feel out there. There's going to be a revolution at some point in time because people are going to revolt. Keep prepping. Plan for those rainy days. The floods are coming. It's right here. It's here. It's now, it's beginning. Where does it up? When does it end? That is something that we don't know. So until next time, folks. You all stay safe. You keep prepping. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Survival Preparedness for Beginners, I'm out.